these are the steps to make the big letter exercise inside of Adobe Illustrator. We're going to choose our text tool. We're just going to point and click, type in the word here in all caps, and we can go ahead and hit escape. Grab the corner here and make our text a little bit bigger. We want it to fill up at least 60 to 75 percent of our canvas here. All right, let's change the font. If you don't have your character text character window or sorry panel open, here's how we get it. Go down to window, go to type, and then choose character. I'm going to change it from Myriad Pro to Impact. That should be a nice, thick font. And yep, that's going to be perfect. We should be able to see our artwork through those letters because they got to be big enough to actually show off some of the artwork. So I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. All right. And once that has been done and we have a good size, the next thing that we want to do is apply a warp. So we're going to go up here to Effect, and we'll go down to Warp, and we're going to choose Rise from the Warp menu. Inside of these options, we're going to change the Bend Percent to 17. So 17%. All right, this is just an effect. We have to set it as a permanent change. So we're going to go up to Object, and expand the appearance. Boom. Just like that. Now it's no longer just an effect, it is actually the full object. Currently we do not have a stroke, so let's go ahead and apply one because we're going to be plugging in a 3D effect. and We want the 3D effect to have a little bit of some kind of shade to it. So we'll take the color out and just add about a 35% black so we got a nice gray for that stroke and we'll close this window down here so we now have uh, black shapes with a gray stroke we're gonna go to our 3d menu and change our X and Y axes to 10% each make sure there's a 0% rotation let's preview it and that's what it's gonna look like with that gray outline so we're going to go ahead and say OK. And again, this is just an effect, so we have to go back to Object and expand the appearance again to this new change. Now we can go ahead and start grabbing up the faces of our letters. So let's go ahead and choose the Direct Selection tool, that's the little white arrow. Click on just the face, just the front. We're going to hold Shift while we're clicking here. Shift and Direct Select. We're going to Get rid of it by com hitting Command and X, and then paste it back in with Command V. We'll go ahead and adjust the face so that it's back in front of those shadows, those drop shadows. It looks like we didn't cut it, but we did, because we're going to need to use those faces for our images. So let's go get those. We're going to go to File, and uh, we're actually going to go ahead and choose, here we go, File, Place. And we're going to maneuver over to the images that we're going to plug in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this landscape in my clipping mask. What this is going to do is this is going to poke through my letters. So let's go ahead and adjust it a little bit. And I need this behind all of my shapes. So I'm going to control click, arrange, and send it to the back. So now my artwork is behind all of the lettering. I'm going to adjust it a little bit so that just the areas that are covered will actually poke through each of the letters. So I'm going to adjust my image so that I know that the lineup will be clean and then I need to go ahead and copy this image at least four, uh, three more times. We want a total of four copies of our landscape. So I'm going to control command C and command V to paste it. I'm going to command V again because it's already in my clipping it's already in my clipboard and command V again. So you should have a total of four of those images. If we go into our layers and open that up, there are our images. We're going to go ahead and grab all of those holding shift. I'm going to click 
on all of these and just drag them all down so that all four copies are behind the letters. We need four of them because we're going to use one copy for each of our letters. So we're going to hold shift and click on our background. Using the white arrow, we're going to click on the face and we're going to go to object, clipping mask, make. Keep in mind the keyboard shortcut for this is command seven, the number seven. So I can just go ahead and shift, click, click, command seven, shift, click, click, command seven. I'm using the direct selection tool here and you can see now my images are actually shining or showing through each of my letters. This is what we want. This is called the clipping mask. We've clipped everything from view except the mask, which in this case are the letters. So I'm going to go ahead and grab up my next landscape, and this is what's going to exist in the background of the entire image. So I'm going to go ahead and place this in and send it to the back. So now it's behind everybody, and I'm just going to go ahead and distort this a little bit. I'm going to stretch it out so that it fills out my entire canvas. And then I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, it looks like we've got some good contrast here. we got a black and white landscape and uh, the colored landscape poking through the letters. All that's left now is for us to go ahead and type in the rest of the message. This is like a greeting card, so wish you were here. We'll go ahead and adjust this, move it over, apply a little bit of layout, and that is our image. This is the big letter exercise. Remember to save your progress, save your work, and thanks for watching.